Hi, I'm Jason from Aswan Guidance, and today I'm going to talk about why can't I be with my twin flame? Why is it impossible for me to be with my twin flame? Why do I not believe that I can be with my twin flame? Are these questions that you're asking yourself? Are these things that are going through your head? Are these things that you are seeing in uh, Facebook groups or any twin flame group uh, or any uh, number of videos that you see on YouTube? Uh, why can't you be with your twin flame? For those of you that have met your twin and are uh, and, and and it's been revealed that you in fact are that person's true twin flame, you are each other's true twin flame. Think about when you met this person. Think about leading up to meeting your true twin flame and what kind of state of being you were in. Um, chances are you weren't, you know, completely off your rocker, that you were so absurdly crazy nuts that you were running around uh, to every single person saying, are you him? Are you him? Are you them? Are you them? Are you them? Like you didn't set up a little, uh, you know, lemonade stand, twin flame stand, and ask uh, everybody that passed by if they were their, if they were your twin flame. Think about how you just kind of fell into it. Think about how it just was a natural progression. Just just that. You know, you randomly bumped into this person or, or uh, you know, there were certain circumstances where, you know, you serendipitously met or came within each other's presence. And it wasn't, it wasn't a crazy thing. It wasn't like, uh, you know, scaling uh, buildings and, and trying to do, trying to do way more than, than, than humanly possible to meet this person. You know, chances are you were in uh, a relaxed state and you called in your true love. You called in the person that was made for you. Because through your experience, you have, you know, gone through patterns of uh, bullshit with relationships regarding relationships where you know you you were done you know having somebody that didn't treat you right or somebody that um, you couldn't trust or somebody that uh, you you weren't quite sure if they were the one or not and you kept running all of these patterns over and over and over until you know one day whether you realize it or not you made a choice that you were done with that and that you wanted something real, something true. And so it was orchestrated because you made that choice. You asked for it. It was given to you. And you didn't know what that choice was, uh, you know, more often than not. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. However, a choice was made. Recognize that. You know, you're not, you're not, it wasn't something like, oh, I'm, I'm just choosing to be super promiscuous and then randomly, oh, maybe I really, really love this person and they're the person that I'm supposed to be with. You know, if you're choosing, if you're choosing that pattern or if you're choosing a pattern like that, uh, that is com in the complete opposite direction of choosing true love, you know, you, that's something that you're going to continue to get more of because that's what you're choosing. However, if you, if you came to a place where you are, you know, you are just fed up with, 
with with this you know typical style of you know dating people or meeting people or or the the people that that were coming into your life the people that you were attracting you were done with it and you called in your true love and you received it now what happened from there whether you understand that uh, you were twin flames and and all you know yada 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 uh, I didn't know that we were twin flames until after separation and that's that's uh, you know probably one of the most common um, things that I hear is that you know you meet somebody and you're like holy shit you know th this person checks all the boxes and we're perfect together and then separation and then you scramble because you really have you're like I've never never experienced anything like this uh, I've never had that kind of love um, I know for a fact that there's you know no no one or uh, there's no scenario that that I would be able to recapture that what I had with this person and a lot of the times you know you're right and that's what that's what leads you to uh, you know finding out about twin flames and 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 really uh, starting to you know do as much research as you can to understand what it is that you're going through because you can have the same you know stupid relationship over and over and over with you know the same person almost you know you, the names and the faces change but the pattern remains the same I mean you're just switching out uh, appearance and what you call someone uh, for you know the same situation and so when you're done with that and you call this in you know that you know that there's a giant difference between uh, some bullshit relationship with you know random people soulmates if that's you know soulmates karmic whatever I mean it's all just a label or you know when you found your true love I mean it's clear it's clear as day so you know take yourself back to that period of of how what you were doing before you met your twin or you know how how you what you were inside how you were feeling inside and the choices that you were making because you asked for it and it was given to you and then you chose separation now you can choose union you don't you can stop choosing separation because you're continuing to choose separation and as as soon as you heal that separation you're back in union there's no more such separation once you heal it you're back in union that's a guarantee case closed you just have to get there you just have to you know do the work to heal your heal the separation and then you can experience your heaven on earth and then you don't have to you know run these pattern you know you're done with all of these patterns so ask for it ask for it and, is, and and it will be given but you have to get to that place you have to get yourself back to that place of being able to have your union and this is all one big lesson this this whole journey has been one big lesson so you know you may not be exactly as you were when you met your twin the first time around because it's this journey has caused you to heal every nook and cranny in, inside yourself and love yourself 100% fully so yeah there's there's going to be some you know major differences inside of you absolutely you're not going to be you know that you're not going to be you're going to be that person, but you're going to be that person. You're going to be you.
You're going to be the real you. That's what it takes in order to get there. Because this whole thing was set up to, for that particular reason. And only that reason. This journey was for you to get back to you. To get back to loving you. You and your twin, along with the divine, co-created this entire thing. You know, let, let your mind really wrap, wrap around that. That this is all one big orchestration by you. It comes a lot easier to swallow when you realize that you created it. Then it's not such a burden. Then it's not such like an you know this uphill battle that's just unclimbable. It's like if I can create this journey back to loving myself and I'm doing it for me, the sole purpose of of this is to do it for me, then I can get back there. I created it. I can create it again. I can I created the meeting with my with my twin I can I can recreate that and the divine gives it to you when you get to that place so if you need help along your journey visit asoneguidance.com for the services I offer in uh, get, getting you there getting you into union uh, leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel um, and I'll see you next time